If you want to try to 10 times your money for free, I'm going to walk you through it. My name's Angelo. This is We Want Picks, and I'm going to give you my prize picks entry for this weekend's UFC Atlantic City. If you don't know what prize picks is, it's daily fantasy. You come in here, you just say more or less than the numbers you see on the screen, and you can 20 times your money, 10 times your money, 100 times your money, all depending on what your entry is and what sport you're playing. They will even give you free money to play. The only thing you need to do is go to wewantpicks.com slash prizepicks, use promo code WWP, and they will instantly match your deposit. If you give them $20, they'll give you $20. If you give them $100, they'll give you $100 instantly that you can use to build an entry. You could only use the free money if you want. Leave your real money in the account. Then win with your free money, and then you can withdraw it. Or if you lose it, it was okay. It's their free money. You have all your real money there. It's a ton of fun, it's super easy, and it is very flexible. Get your free money, build an entry, wewantpicks.com slash prizepicks, promo code WWP. I am going to walk through UFC Atlantic City, but this is all sports, even darts. I will never understand how you do fantasy on darts, but you can in video games, darts, all the major sports and all the obscure ones as well. You can mix and match, and there's a ton of wild flexibility here. We're going to focus on UFC. We're going to start with significant strikes. They break it down in the four categories. We can do more or less on strikes landed per fight, how long the fight will go, their fantasy score, and takedowns. I like to avoid fantasy score. I find that the trickiest one. But let's start with significant strikes here. Right off the rip, I like the more than 45 and a half significant strikes from Cowrin Lochran. I cannot say his name without, and I'm trying to do an Irish accent, but it sounds Scottish. I can't, I just can't say his name without doing that. It's crazy. Anyway, he cruised past this number in his first fight. And in his first fight in the UFC, it was against a French savant fighter who wanted to do anything other than fight. Just hang out on the outside, jab, move, jab, move, jab, move. So I think Callan Lochran is going to get past this number, and I don't think it's going to be very difficult for him to do that. He's fighting somebody who's going to move forward and engage. The only other significant strike line that I like here is going to be, where is he? Bruno Silva, and we're going to go the more on his line as well. They have this cap at one and a half rounds. So they think Bruno Silva is going to come in here, land a few strikes, knock out Chris Weidman. I do not think that's going to happen. I do think Bruno Silva probably wins this fight, but I think it's going to be some back and forth, potentially a good amount of cage control, and I think Bruno will get past 30 and a half significant strikes. That's not a giant number, right? 30 significant strikes in a three-round fight is 10 per round. That's not that big of a deal. 15 minutes, we need him to land two strikes per minute, and it goes the distance. Not a big deal. I think he gets past this number. If we go to fight time minutes, a few that I like here as well. If we look at Chidi Injikawani, I think this goes over one and a half rounds, which is six and a half fight minutes. He's fighting Reese McKee. This guy can take a beating and just continue moving forward. And I think that's what we have here. I think Chidi gives him a little bit of a beating early. Reese is going to continue to move forward and this fight will continue. Reese is not particularly dangerous. So even if Reese starts to come back and Reese is taking over, he's not going to knock out or finish Chidi, at least not in my opinion, and at least not early. So I think we're good with over one and a half rounds here. The other one and a half round like where I like the under is Anton Turkos. This is a rematch. They already fought. And I think this fight goes very similarly without the gassing. In the first fight, Ibo Aslan smoked Anton Turkos. Smoked him and then gassed and got finished. And if that happens again, we're good with the under one and a half rounds. Or this time, he may put Anton Turkos out early as Anton was put out recently. So Anton Turkoj has been finished two of his last three fights. And I think he gets finished again here or he survives and finishes his opponent. Either way, I think we're good with under one and a half rounds here. We are just going to skip fantasy score entirely. I don't like that. Mond, let me just show it to you. There's a lot of tricky lines here. Like Julio Arce, does he win by finish? He might, and if he does, he cruises past this number. But there's a lot of question marks here. The only times I like fantasy score is if something is wildly juiced and we don't necessarily know what's going to happen. Like the Bruno Silva less, I tend to like because I don't think he's going to win by finish. But 
Either way, I trust the more than 30 strikes more than I do the fantasy score. But let's go to takedowns. My last and final piece here is going to be less than two and a half takedowns on Aaron Blanchfield. The reality is I don't think her takedowns are very good. And I think her opponent has has very good takedown defense. I think Manafro can defend the takedowns. Aaron Blanchfield needs to get three takedowns in order for this to miss. She had zero takedowns in her last fight. She's had several fights with zero takedowns. The only person she took down at a heavy volume there was Miranda Maverick, who historically has terrible takedown defense. So I don't think Aaron Blanchfield's going to get to three. Frankly, she might only need one or two and then could finish Manon. I don't think that happens, though. I think early on, she's working the takedowns heavy, doesn't have much success, and then her takedowns will fade as the fight goes on as Manon gains more confidence, lands the stiffer strikes, and then it goes that way. The only concern is it's a 25-minute fight. Three takedowns in 25 minutes. On paper, it seems like she should get there, but she didn't even get three takedowns. She didn't even get any takedowns. She got zero takedowns in 15-minute fight, and that's not the first time that's happened. So I like the less here. That is my entry. We'll take a look at it one more time. We got Aaron Blanchfield, less than two and a half takedowns. Anton Turkaj, less than six and a half fight minutes. Chidi and Jaquani, more then six and a half fight minutes. Bruno Silva, more than 30 and a half significant strikes. And Karen Lochran, more than 45 and a half significant strikes. This is my entry. You can build your own entry. You can hate this one. You can love this one. Either way, get your free money. We want slash prize picks. Promo code WWP.